Hey everybody, the name is Nonskiller and today I'll be showing you guys how to be making your custom made avatar for VR chat. So before I even go into it, I just want to talk about avatars in general and how you could access your custom made avatars. There's a section called personal where all your avatars that you uploaded, all your avatars are uploading and goes into the avatar section for your personal use. From there, I think we could just start and talk about literally how we could actually get a 3D model and put it in Unity. So model resource is a great way to actually go and find video game model for your VR chat avatar. So all you gotta do just to grab it is just you click on like what you want and then literally you download it. And then obviously you have to extract the file and see what's up in there. All right, so there's also DeviantArt, and that's a good place to get through some 3D models. And then you have Sketchfab. You could find some like 3D models here. And then after that, we also have Turbo Squid. Okay, so now that you know about where to get your models, you need to go to the VR Chat website and learn how to be setting up your SDK. So first off, there's Unity 2017. That is the, the version that they're on right now. They're probably going to change it over maybe a year or so. And pretty much that's what you need to download. Next, of course, you're also going to need to go make your account in VR chat. And once you sign in, you just download the VRC SDK and you're ready to go. Simple step. Just import the VRC SDK. You're good. You're great. Perfect. Okay, let's get to the next step now. You have to click on the settings. And when you do that, you just sign in your actual VR chat account and then you'll be able to connect it and sync it to the actual game. So whenever you want to upload something, it'll be on that account. All right, so we have basically our avatar and it's on set on human. One of the things you need to do is pretty much take away the spine one on the avatar structure and then replace it with spine number two, which you would put on the chest. That's really pretty much it. Once you do that, your avatar is ready to be in VR chat. Okay, so let's talk about the VRC avatar descriptor. Basically, to get it, you just do the add component. You click on the actual object of the avatar, and bam, you got your avatar descriptor. That's pretty much all of it, and you set it up and all that good stuff. Okay, so just to clarify, I just had to make sure that you guys did this right. You have to click the actual object, like the actual avatar. And then you add the descriptor onto it. That's pretty much it. Something I also need to address is literally the circle on the nose area. You want to have that point of view between the eyes or in front of the nose. If you can't seem to find your avatar, make sure your avatar is small as possible so the ball itself can be visible. So let's talk about actually uploading your avatar to VRChat. These are all the settings you can look at, and you just click the upload button right over there. Okay, cool. So now that it's set up, you'll be in this weird system where you can update or make your new avatar. Basically, what I'm showing you right now is you can control the VRC camera to be the profile picture of the exact image. You click on upload the, the image on there, and bam. But I'm going to not upload this because it's already up. So that's pretty much how you make your avatar. All right, so that's pretty much it, guys, when it comes to avatar making. But if you want to know more stuff, this is going to be probably the next part of the video. I'm going to be talking about some other things like animations and shaders and all that good stuff. Here are some interesting tips when it comes to your avatar. You have skin meshes, which may cause performance issues for some reason. So best optimization is to take as many like skinned meshes and just fuse them as one thing or just remove them all together. So from here... I'm showing you guys different type of shaders that you could use and it's all in one material. I could tell you how to do that if you wanted like one model with one material and I'm adding more materials on there so I could show you like different type of shaders like you have the fur one, you just have a simple cubed one made by Silent and we have a mesh effect which costs 10 bucks on Unity. Now what I'm showing you here is the dynamic bones and how they function. I'm not going too far into this. I'm just going to show you like it just shows wiggle effects and that's pretty much it. Now if you want to see other plugins, they're all on the Unity store. I want to be very vague about this and basically you just need to find the custom override and you put animations on there. So basically what you're doing is creating an on switch and an off switch when it comes to the animation and then you apply that to your 
custom animation template override. And you're seeing what's happening right now and what you'll be seeing when you activate it with whatever feature you added it, like on your fist or your finger or you made it an idle. Now with custom animations in mind, when you have chairs, you gotta make sure you take out the trigger and that's pretty much it. Now when it comes to placing objects into the world, you're gonna need to have what it's called literally having constrained points. So for example, this Soul Caliber weapon has a rigid body and it has a fixed joint, allowing it to exist without following you around. All right, cool beans. I finished the video. If you have any suggestions or your comments or a question about something, comment below or just let me know, you know, I, what kind of video to make next. That's pretty much it. Take care. Bye bye. We have news at the Southern Towers. Oh my <laughs> god. We have news that he is destroying the city. It's fucking confirmed. It's destroying Delta. The National Guard has been called in. Well, this is, this oh, is national news. It's okay. Kind of it's okay, it's gone. Disregard. Okay.